boutiques. We discovered so many that we've never seen before and we've walked up and down here loads of times in the past. Always something new. So we've just discovered that there's a Weatherspoons app and we've just ordered two pints to our table without actually having to go anywhere. Pretty cool, eh? This isn't sponsored by the way, this is just pretty cool. in here. It seems not only our hotel air conditioning is broken, but also the air conditioning in Wetherspoon. <laughs> place we saw earlier and it's amazing it's absolutely fascinating I forgot the name of it but we'll find that out later so we just discovered it's Hayes Galleria back in the hotel I phoned them and they said that um, they couldn't fix it so we've got a different room and free breakfast so we're gonna go check out our new room now so we arrived back in our room um, they told us that the keys for our new room would be in our room and we've come back and unfortunately strangely our bags have gone slightly disturbing there seems to be a bit of a uh, different information from every angle so we're going to head down to reception hopefully find our bags and then head to our new room so we found they took our stuff up for us they, they took the liberty to do that and didn't tell us which is uh, wonderful and we're now heading to the separate lift so it seems like we're in a slightly different area and we're going to go check out the room on the 6th floor I wonder whether we're going to have a, a Thames side view we will see Well, this is a bit different. We get a settee this time. We get a desk. And the view of a balcony, I think. Oh, we can get out onto a roof. We have a roof terrace for our room. There 
we got our new room and it's really nice. There's Jet over there, chilling out on the bed. It's a nice room. But the best bit is this. Check this out. Not often you get a balcony with a view of the gap. Look at that. That is pretty cool. She didn't even know you could get hotel rooms with balconies like this. I hope in summer they put like little tables and chairs and stuff out. That would be pretty cool. But yeah, so our room upgrade has been pretty good. And the air conditioning works as well, which is even better because it's absolutely roasting in London. I think being northerners we're kind of used to the cold. So we're gonna go and grab some tea and chill out for a bit. So yeah. Alright, help me outside and that is where we stay. We love my so balcony. So you take you out and see it a bit better in the daylight. There, that's that's the hotel we're going to next. So it's just around the corner. It's not even around the corner actually, it's just literally down the road. And there's Tower of London. Shard over there. What was a green building? And then the Gherkin over there. And we're just gonna head to breakfast, our complimentary breakfast, and then head back to the room, sort ourselves out and work out what we're gonna do for the day. So nice was a good variety and the staff are really friendly which is good so yeah I'm not sure we'd stay here again unless it had a really good price which is basically the only reason we stayed here anyway and next we're off to the citizen inn which is where we're going now to check if we can drop our bags <laughs> in unless we had our blinds shut all the time so we've just changed to another one higher up and we're just making our way upstairs start the step count and go check out our new room here's our new room and it looks exactly like the one in Russia <laughs> there we go except this time we had some art on a bookshelf and this little fella. So we chose a room which had less of you. Look at that! It's not much of a less of you. That's amazing! I think I showed you Claude as we've named him and then I suddenly realized they were actually dressed in the same clothes we're actually best friends you <laughs> good morning it's Monday I'm in London and I'm enjoying getting lost And Claude's decided to stay in the hotel and read Alice in Wonderland instead. Good choice, Claude! Right, I'm on Kitted Up. 
There's Claude having a lovely dinner. <laughs> and I'm gonna head out to adventure now. I think I'm gonna head to Covent Garden and check out the Vivo Barefoot Shop. Manchester, so after the rain. <laughs> Good job, I'm both prepared and used to it. Trying again with an extra layer. I forgot I'm going to be out all day, and I started remembering the time in um, Krakow when I was actually freezing to death and I was so cold I could barely order a coffee. So, extra layer. I can always show it in my bag. So, off we go again. as a present actually from the Russian ambassador to King Charles II and they've been here ever since as a bit of a tradition really. It's quite strange seeing them in an open park, normally you see them in the zoo so it's quite nice to see them in the wild. Pigeons there. You used to have them all over you. It was great. It was so much fun. Uh, but now you're not allowed to feed them. Um, but yeah, when I was a kid, I used to pick up the little tubs and take them back to the stand, and then they'd give me free pigeon corn. So I was a little bit of a businesswoman by then as well. came to visit with Vivo Betha I've just been in even though it's really off-putting and um, it's the most unfriendly shop ever they just said hi and that was it I looked at all the shoes and then left I'm not sure they get many sales <laughs> Praise wherever you call it now. Um, only a hell of a grander. Nice. I like it. I wonder if I was a look this way. Hunting them down. 
it's quite fun until you get in the depths of very tall buildings and then you lose everything. But so far it's working okay. 